welcome to my channel guys uh, i was inactive for a few days now i am back so in this video i'll show you how to create an authentication page or create user without firebase you see uh, the firebase to use authenticate users or sign in login users but we will implement create account or sign up without firebase so we are using base api so this is an the application so i have created an edit text password field and confirm password and a button for create account and a text view to see the response is the uh, user is created sign up is successful or not and then there is a button for get all users so this is to get all the users from which are sign up so now when we click on create account there is some code ok http is uh, used here to make the api requests so now and there is another page when we click get all users it will bring us to another page all users and here is the text view it will show the all the users information in a text view in a json format so this is the basic api now run it and check it out okay now we are here in the page of the app which we created now and there is a three field email password confirm password and create account now we have to put an email for testing for test at the rate gmail.com this is an example of an email not an actual email and we have to password that must be greater than six one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven now create account you see that they are created a time and email the email and the id so this is the response you can use it to your app and now when we click get all users it will bring us to another page okay and you see there is all the users there is a count eight it means there is total eight users and their informations are there email and when it's created you can also pass the custom data for your users so this is it so now how to implement this api in your app so now go to base api b a c api here it is now go to base api and here you can see authentication so first you need to sign up here authenticate and then go to your dashboard and create your access id or authentication id to call the api and now go to your schedule and here on create here in the string key you have to put your authentication key or barrier id access to access the api and in all user activity there is also an key string you have to put the your key okay so this is for it guys you can try this api to sign up your users you can also use to sign in user you can see the dashboard or documentation of the api there are many two facilities i will make videos on that also so now if you want to download this project then you have to go to okay let me start the data first you have to download the schedule cafe application from google play store mm -hmm. sure cafe 
and here it is and I have already installed it and open it and it will take some time and now there is many project you have to search for base api and this is the base api and download it from here okay i will give the link of the application also and the link of the project also you can download it from there thank you for today guys